Alright guys, I have a brand new video for you, but before we get into that, I just want to apologize for the very late upload. Um, it's been a while since the last video, and that's because I have moved to college. So, I'm actually in the dorm right now. If you can hear some weird fan sounds, that's because, well, there's, there's a big AC unit above my head that cannot be turned off. So, we're going to have to deal with that sound for right now. Um, until I can think of a, a better alternative, I don't. I don't really have another place I can make videos at. So, for the time being, this has to be the best scenario possible. So, what you're seeing here is the fastest Black Ops 3, and and I think this might be the fastest zombie strategy of all time. In this room that you're seeing, <clears throat> yes, we are using power vacuum. This is our power vacuum gameplay. If you haven't already watched it, it's our last or the last video you can see like round 107 we actually made it to round 108 <clears throat> but we did find one of the fastest strategies in this room and you don't even have to have power vacuum as you can see i was you know most of the time i had a death machine or an insta kill and i was shooting the zombies that were coming in the front door you might think well if i'm doing that and tyler's shooting zombies this has to be the fastest you have to have power vacuum to be the fastest However, if you use an alchemical gobble gum with the thunder gun, you can get 200 kills per, or 200 plus kills per minute. And usually that's right around 60 and above, so anything below 60, you're gonna be very close to 200 kills, but I don't think the spawn time is fast enough for you actually to hit that 200 mark. So yes, even with a death machine, even with insta-kill, even with this overpowered gobble gum, you still can kill zombies fast and and even this strategy with me shooting across the way with the death machine insta kill yada yada it still was not as fast as having an alchemical with the thunder gun this room is is very dangerous let let me first say that if you're going to attempt this strategy you need to make sure that you and your teammate is, is perfectly fine with chaos because if anything happens, anything small at all, like your, your, the thunder gun miss shots or you try to pop an alchemical and you don't have enough time, you will die. Everyone will die in this room. The spawning is way too fast to catch up with it and, and you basically have to be on your A game the entire time in this room. However, the payoff is really, really good. You can get through the rounds really, really quickly and really that's what you want from a strategy. You don't want a strategy that's gonna make you take forever to get to a high round. You want to have something that is fast and literally this is the fastest that I have ever seen. Um, the only other fast strategy that I think I've seen was Shadows of Evil with the, uh, you know, the squid gun or the, the shrimp gun um, in the double tap room. And I think we were able to kill around, and this is on alchemical as well, I think we were able to kill like 160, or like 150, 160, 170 zombies per minute. So this is much faster and really I don't know a strategy that you can kill 200 zombies per minute in, in any way. So... The only thing you want to make sure you have whenever you go into this room is the person with the thunder gun needs an alchemical, and if you are the second teammate, um, you will need either, you know, you can have a death machine or a, the most preferable, a max ammo gob gum, um, and, and everything will work out for you, you know? You, but, but you need to make sure that you both have Gersh's. I recommend you keep one Gersh with you at all times so you can jump through it and get out. Um, otherwise, you're going to be stuck in this room because the spawning is so fast. I Trust me, if you mess up, there is no getting out of this room. There's no running around the zombies. They're just there. You can kill them, but they'll be there again. That's why this is a very fast strategy. So it's not the safest in the world. Um, and even the strategy you saw in the last video isn't the safest in the world. They spawn really, really quick. And I think even in that spot, we were getting about 130 per minute. So nowhere near as fast as, as this strategy. But of course, the safest strategy on this map is the spawn room. So, you know, you want to find a balance between safety and speed. And this is no safety, only speed. So this is a very extreme end of the spectrum. And, you know, you can have a very extreme end of safety, too. You know, you can run in huge circles and make sure that you never, ever, ever get hit. And you always have it out. But maybe that's not the fastest. So 
play the game you want to play. If you want to play it really fast and risky, I recommend this strategy. Um, if you don't want to play it so risky, I don't recommend doing this. But if you think you have what it takes and you think that you can survive in this room and get 200, kill, 200 plus kills per minute, definitely try this out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know some of you guys wanted some strategies on this map, and I have tons of videos from this gameplay. It was a very, very fun gameplay. Um, Power Vacuum is a, an amazing gobble gum. It really does make the game easy and, and fun at the same time. There's nothing quite like seeing all the drops over the map, um, many, many drops over the map, and just being able to pick up whatever you want and pretty much having a 24-7 death machine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys can endure the sound. Peace.